guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sophie, welcome. And if you're returning, holla as always. So in today's video, I will be doing the what I eat in a day video. However, it is a bit different. I am doing it VSG style, obviously. For those of you that don't know what that means, in December, I actually had a gastric sleeve operation. I will put a link here to that video if you want to know more about it. But what that essentially means is I've had two thirds of my stomach taken away and I now can only eat dizzy portions. I always get asked, what do you eat in a day? Um, can you only have small bites of things? Do you have to chew like 9,000 times before you eat, before you swallow? Do you only have kids portions now? Do you even go to restaurants? A um, bit difficult to film because we're in quarantine and obviously we're not going out to eat um, like we were before. All restaurants are closed and things like that. However, I am going, I still need to eat and I will be cooking and taking you along with me and showing you what I eat so hopefully I can answer all those questions in this video. Um, I am dressed like this and my hair does look like this because I'm about to go on a run but I thought it'd be great to start the day with breakfast as always, best meal of the day um, and I thought I'd take you along with me throughout the day, show you what I eat, hopefully answer some of those questions and see how we get on. So yeah, let's go. Going back. So I was going to make myself an omelette, um, however I just think that'll be a bit too heavy right now. I know that that sounds stupid and like you think an omelette's not going to be too heavy but even a one egg omelette would just be too heavy, especially just before I'm about to go on a run. So I think I'm just going to start my day off with probably an Actimel. Um, I love the plain ones, I know, oh, I feel like a makeup artist right now. This is the Actimel that I'm going to be using. I know that like they do different flavours and I don't actually know how many calories in, is, in, is, in, is in this. It doesn't say. I'll put the amount of calories in this, but um, yeah, it's got 0% added sugar, 0% added fat, and I just think it's a good way to start my day. Um, it's like a, a oh, a cultured shot. It says it's like a yogurt shot for those that in, in different countries that don't know what this is. Uh, it's basically yogurt in a drink, um, and it'll just set me up nicely for my run. I do feel I don't feel full after these, but I do. I am aware that I've had something to eat, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna have one of these um, and. Yeah, go on my run. <laughs> and that is going straight in the recycling bin because I'm a good person and I recycle. So just to explain, because I do get asked all the time, right now I don't feel full, like I don't, I'm, 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 I could still eat. However, I'm aware that there's like stuff in my stomach and it's almost like you've got a bag inside of you and you can only fill it this much and I've probably filled it like three quarters of the way. If I had another one of those now, I would feel full. I probably would on a regular day, however, I'm about to go on a run, don't want to feel too full, so yeah. Two hours later. Um, so I did just get back from my run and I'm just deciding what to eat for lunch. I think I'm gonna make myself a caprese. For those of you that don't know, that's basically mozzarella um, cheese with, is it mozzarella? I just said it was mozzarella and it might not even, one minute. Yeah, it is mozzarella. It's mozzarella cheese um, sliced into tomatoes. I'm gonna make some for myself and I'm gonna make some for my dad. I'll put both plates next to each other just so that you can see the difference in the size. Okay, so I just made the caprese. As you can see, there's, I don't know if you think there's much of a size difference. I guess it's probably like half. Um, this is for my dad and this is obviously for myself. One thing I just wanna point out is this really cute plate that, um, this company here got me. This company is Tonic, and that's who I had my surgery with. Um, and it just shows me how much protein I should be eating a day, how much fruit and veg and salad I should have, and carbs in one portion. So if you think here, I've got the, the salad and the fruit and veg, but I've not, uh, the fruit, veg, and salad and the protein, but I've not got any carbs in this. I guess the cheese is a bit of a carb. But yes, the difference in size. It's just a kid's portion, isn't it? It's just basically a McDonald's Happy Meal, but a bit healthier. <laughs> One thing that the hospital have recommended that I do is make sure that with every mouthful I am doing 20 chews and that's so that my food properly digests because if I have something maybe like this big or no. if I take something, I'm vlogging, I'm talking to the camera. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, it's good that my dad takes an interest. <laughs> so if I have something so big like this, um, I probably won't be able to eat that much. So the more I chew my food, I think that's recommended for anyone really. But the more I chew my food, um, the more I can eat, which is obviously better for me. Okay, so I've just finished my meal, and as you can see, 
pretty much ate the whole thing. Yeah, um, yeah my stomach is just, I would say it's probably like three quarters of the way full, which I know is ridiculous to most people with that tiny salad, but that is how it works. Okay, so I have work tomorrow and I like to take a protein drink with me to go to work. Um, it's, this is something I was going to mention, the importance of protein within my diet now. So because of the lack of vitamins and the lack of food I'm actually eating, um, one major side effect of this surgery, unfortunately, is hair loss. I was actually gonna do another video on this, if anyone's interested, let me know. Um, but yeah, I, I have started to experience hair loss. Most people experience it between three and six months, three to six months after surgery. Um, and I'll post a picture here, but basically I've noticed like, as I'm brushing my hair, clumps, like literal clumps of hair are coming out. If I just go like this, I know that I'm gonna be able to get some hair off my head. Um, and for someone that's always re had really thick hair, it's actually quite a bit of a, a struggle to come on camera with like my hair where it's all coming out here and here. And I know that other people have it a lot worse than me, people with alopecia and things like that. I'm not saying that I've got the worst head of hair in the world, but obviously it's quite a traumatic experience for someone that's never experienced any problems with their hair before. As well as eating food with high protein in it, I do my best to um, drink a protein shake at least maybe like three or four a week with the relevant proteins and foods in it. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Um, and then I also um, take vitamins and supplements, which I will talk about later on. I use whey protein powder. Again, feeling like a makeup artist, but it's got 20 grams of protein in it. My nutritionist has recommended that I have... <laughs> my nutritionist has recommended that I have... That my dad is dying to be in the vlogs, can I just say. Ever since my mum's mom, been in them loads, he's absolutely dying. Would you like to be in it? No, Dad, you can't. <laughs> I'm trying to have a serious conversation about that. I'm trying to have a serious conversation about protein. Okay. So I don't actually necessarily know if this is right, but this is how I make my protein drink. I use two scoops of the um, peanut butter. I use maybe about 100 millilitres of oat milk. And then I use this, which is, like I said before, 20 grams of protein. Um, it keeps it sweet, and it, this also stops the sugar, sugar cravings, so I don't necessarily eat loads of chocolate either, which is good. <laughs> okay, so that's done, and ready for tomorrow. Hi, Mitz. So this is my, my dinner and my mum's dinner. As you can see, I've only got half a jacket potato. I've not actually had jacket potato since having my operation, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but we'll give it a try. So I've got half, my mum's got a full one. I've probably got um, a bit more that, a bit more spinach and um, rocket and watercress than she has because she doesn't really like it that much. And then tuna-wise, I think we've got roughly the same amount, really. I've, I've tried to follow the plate and do the protein, the carb, um, and then the greens, and um, we will see how we get on. But I think that's a pretty good portion, to be honest. Like, the only difference is the double of the potato, but on the whole, I think that's good. I'm getting full just looking at it, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see how we get on. Okay, so just to update you all, I've had about half of the tuna, some of the jacket potato and some of the rocket and the, the greenery. And I would say that like, I'm probably like 70% full. Um, I am starting to struggle to eat. Um, but one thing I've realized is before, I would have been like, right, I'm done, and I would have left the table. Now, if I just breathe for a bit and just like let my food digest, and then I carry on, I'm all right, but I'm quite full from eating what I've eaten. But I really wanted to get as much footage as possible for this video, but it turns out that um, I am incredibly full and there's no way that I can eat any more today. Um, I'll put my totally, my totally, my total calorie count up here for the day. Um, it won't be that much and I know that some people will be shocked by the amount that I eat in a day. I can assure you that I am completely healthy and um, yeah, maybe um, life would be different if I hadn't have had my surgery. And there are foods that I would say that I'd, I don't miss sometimes, but it would be nice to eat them like pizza or toast or the odd Chinese or something like that. But in reality, when you've lost like, how much have I lost now? How much have I lost now, Mum? Five, five stone. Just under six, just under six stone, which is 31 kilograms. When you've lost that amount and you feel the healthiest and happiest you've ever been, none of those foods even matter to you anymore. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Thanks for taking an interest into something that's very important to me. Um, if requested, I will do another video about hair loss and about the effects of the surgery. 
um, but whether you're just a friend and you're interested or whether you're somebody that's considering the surgery um, I really hope that I help to show you a bit of an insight into my life post-surgery and um, I'm sure that I'll be doing a few more videos on my surgery soon as always make sure to like make sure to comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye